In my last episode, I showed how we can make interactive buttons to let the end user pick the language. A user asked me if I can just publish to a specific language. Since we have the meta properties already in the file, it's a piece of cake. I can either make styles and select the objects and choose the correct style, or I can subscribe it to a language style and easily edit the style. I'm just going to a new view here where the labels are hidden. Last episode, I also showed you how you can just select labels without selecting the geometry, but you can also create a selection set in the collaborative tools as well. Now I'll just make a quick style and call it English. Then change the meta properties to French and make another one. Now if I switch between, you can see the labels change. I'm just going to delete these styles and go to our styles workshop. Now in the styles workshop, I'll create a new style and just call it Lang for language. I have to go back and make sure the labels are selected so I can choose the meta property in the styles panel. You can see I'm just checking the text link for meta property. Now I'll just save the file and then edit the style. The default path is C colon backslash users backslash the name documents backslash 3D via composer backslash user backslash profiles. And here you can see the style that I just created. You can open in any XML editor. In this case, I'm just using Notepad. This is a list of the properties in the style. If I scroll to the text link property and just change it from French to English and save the style. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, so I'll just make sure it's the same. Now when I go to reopen the file, all the labels that had Lang subscribed will be changed. So I can now publish to a new language and then edit the style and publish again without having to go back and select all the labels and all the views and change them and update all the views. A handy little tip when producing multiple languages. Hope it helps.